going on you the tube i'm hot mess nest anyway otherwise known as vanessa and <laughs> again i come to you looking totally totally kind of i mean boring a little bit nothing super fancy about this face because it was done in minutes i had some training this morning a tour that i had to take i'd love to share a lot about my job with you guys because it's kind of an exciting time at my job but we just had a new memo that we are not allowed to post anything about the job on social media so until that memo goes away i will have to speak in some codes but it's an exciting time so i woke up i threw on uh, enough makeup to feel presentable and i uh, went on over but i wanted to share with you guys this week's makeup basket review it's the makeup basket roundup for february 4th uh the products that i used this week's makeup basket that i'm going to use and um and also a target haul so if this turns out to be too long there will be timestamps down below but target because i got a birthday gift card and you guys gave me some suggestions so I went with it. I actually thought that I would get a crap ton of stuff and I forgot how Target is, is like, um, it's like the high end Walmart. Some of the things are not like super cheap. So it's like her, 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 her. Anyway, on to the makeup basket. So last week I will leave it up in the cards and this week we're gonna go over some of the products. I will have some like little videos because I didn't do a get ready with me with this stuff. I will try to do that, especially if it's products that you guys want more intrigue. But what I'm trying to do is put products that I want to know if I really like them. Uh, and also things, are you gonna be in the declutter? Cause I had a huge eyeshadow palette video to show you guys what I had. And some of the things just need to go because it does not serve my collection. Now we're gonna start off with palettes. First one was Suva Beauty. This is the Neutral Necessities, and I will pop up a little bit of that footage here, we'll just say. Okay, so instead of filming to get ready with me, the man was on his way home, and I just started playing with the Suva Beauty Neutral Necessities. Really quick, just pretty much used every single color. And, I use pretty much every single shade and it just does not have the same impact that it did when I first got it. It's still blended nice, okay? It, it's fine. But the pigmentation is not what I remembered. And it's like even this one shade that was like badass, this red one, it took quite a bit of packing it on and I did blend it out, but I remember at one point I used to put my brush in it, it was pigment. Now you don't always want that. And originally when I bought this, it was for my kit. Now when you're doing makeup for film or you know photography, you usually want a more blended down kind of shadow. Uh, but that's not what these were that I remember. I just kind of want to show an example, okay? If you're going to, I mean, it's okay and it builds up, but I just remember when it packed a real punch. It's still blendable, but I know I have stuff like this in my collection, and even upon building, it still took a while to get there. But, with something like this, you're going to get a really good blend if you take your time. But again, I don't remember the palette starting out like this. I remember it being like, bam, swipe, and now, yeah. This one is gonna go. It is beautiful in its quality. It blends really nicely, even still. I bought it in 2016. But the one thing that I had forgotten, because this palette does not have anything in the packaging on the back, like, you know, 12 year, 12, 12 year chef look. 12 years, it's good for 12 years. 12 months, 18 months, two years, it doesn't have that. But one of the things that I remembered is that it has a built-in primer in the eyeshadows, at least it claimed back then. And I actually got that because I wanted to go in and look at 
the original video that I posted of this. The quality is awful. Oh my gosh, like I'm blurred. The only thing that's decent is the picture swatches. It's awful. But the, the owner of the company had commented on the video, which was so sweet. But this one's gonna go. The pigment is not what it once was. Like it used to be like you touch this shade and it was like crazy bam. Now it still looks good. Even after being three years old, it still looks okay. They blend really nice, but this serves me no, it, it does nothing for my collection at this point because they're not as pigmented as they once were. I mean, this used to be like, I'm gonna stain your fingers for a long time. And if you bought this palette, I'm not saying it's gonna go bad on you. It just doesn't have that oomph that it used to. I thought about keeping the black because the black was a solid, beautiful black, but there's just no need for it. So this one is going to go into the declutter pile. I thought this, this, this one was going to stay with me and I just took a little bit of video footage last night because I wore it for work. But I did a look real quick. I used the three mattes and there's not enough, enough depth for me out of this palette. The rest are shimmers, they're okay. I don't even know that I've even put a finger in any of these. So this one is definitely going to get decluttered and I'll probably end up putting it on my Depop or whatever one I end up going with. When I do upload to that, I will do a video and uh, I will make sure that I post on my Instagram when things go up on there in case anybody is interested in rebuying them. I like that, I like reselling makeup because I feel like then it's not just waste. It's not just about a money grab. Um, it's just about, you know, maybe somebody else will want this at a discounted rate. The other thing that was in my weekly makeup basket was the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. Now, my first impression, I love this. So I'm gonna do a video with some looks with this. The glitters are gorgeous. The, the ones that are actually like shiny uh, shiny these things these are crazy because they like blend together and make something kind of amazing out of them I haven't used the press glitters yet and I did a look with these and I did notice toward the end of the evening that the deeper shades look like they were um, fading a little bit but I didn't use a primer I used the concealed shade so I will definitely do a video because I, I did have some people say that they they wanted a video on it. So we will add to the other thousand videos. I'm gonna do one. So that is in that pile. Now onto the face stuff. I have the Liquid Summer. This is now part of my everyday. I use the Liquid Summer as my cream bronzer step. And I also had this, it's the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer. And I looked up videos like how to use this. So I do my whole face and then with my foundation and whatever, and then I dab this with a beauty blender and do my bronzer in a cream, and I use my Tom Ford for my contour, and then I take this with a brush and I swoop it like an S, then I set very, very lightly with powder and anything that I feel like, especially if I'm doing like a YouTube video and I want more, then I add more with powder. But for every day, I just wanna feel beautiful and glowy out in the world, these have become like staples for me. Like almost to the point where this is number seven, so it's kind of that iridescent -y color. I kind of want to get like a my skin tone color of this. These have become my holy grails. I will have to do a video talking about things that I use every day that I don't talk about actually in videos for you guys. The thing is, is I don't know what's gonna happen when I run out of these things. Will I bite the bullet? Will I spend that much money to buy these? Time will tell, but they have become the ish, okay? Now, foundations, I said that I was going to go through the Infallible, the Candid Revlon, and the By Terry. These two are not my shade, not at all. So I can't give you a proper review on these. I just can't because I have to cut them with something. I can't tell you, this formula is great if I'm walking around, like this one's very pink, and this one's, I think it's just a little too light on its own. So unless I went and bought either my exact shade or a shade darker to see how they work, I can't tell you on the formula. But I like layering them. This one, not as much, but I've taken some of this 
with the L'Oreal Infallible Freshware and then some IT Cosmetics CC Cream and gotten some really beautiful things out of it. This one I know I like enough that I will probably try to get my proper shade later on when I burn through some foundations. So I hope that helps, but I, I can't honestly tell you that they're amazing on their own. This Infallible Fresh, I have to cut it. I already know I have to cut it with something because I have too much um, lines and wrinkles in my forehead to wear anything that's overly matte. So I kind of place this in certain areas. And then I use the glowy stuff in other areas. I know it sounds complicated. It really isn't once you get the hang of it. it doesn't have to be high end. It could be low end. You can make it work. So don't know, really like when I cut it. Think I love this, but not the right shade. On to concealers. So the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away, I like this, but it to me, you could get this. They're, they're very similar. This one didn't get as creasy on me. I don't really like to set my under eyes, just very lightly with powder because, I mean, I don't know how those people over 30 years old bake unless you have a very, very special powder. I haven't found that yet. So one in the same, I think this is like $38 and this is like $10. So, hmm. As far as the LA Girl Pro Conceal, maybe it's the coloring. I got classic ivory, but it's very peach. When I use this, I like to use it right in here in those darkest spots, pat it in with a finger, and then use one of my regular concealers for the actual brightening and concealing. That's kind of been my jam. Can't stop, won't stop. So far on its own, I didn't love it for my mature skin. Uh, I can use it mostly, and this is probably how I'll end up using the remainder of it because I'd rather use the Instant Age Rewind over this to do right here when I want um, highlight, low light, down the nose, and maybe a little bit right down here for brightening, but all on its own, it's, it's not good for me. I mean, if you have flawless underneath here and you can bake, you might like this. And then just to add it in, because I picked up the CoverGirl Outlast Active, this has been adding in. So anything that I layer in, I do my spot face thing, you know, cover things, and then do a light layer of this. This is actually one of the only things I have on right now when I put it on at 10 o'clock this morning, and it is 5.30 this afternoon. I feel like I still look like I have skin. So that is the makeup basket of the February, my whole review on it. And if there's any like main things that you have questions about, leave them down below. Let's get into this week's makeup basket. Okay, on to February 11th makeup basket. There are a couple things I'll probably still keep in that I love, but I am going to be really giving this one a go. This is the Marc J Jacobs Tan Tantric. Tan, tan, trick. Tan trick. Oh, one. I had originally always wanted the coconut one, but here's this one. I felt like it was a little too red, but maybe I was using it wrong. If I use it with a, a bigger brush instead of a fluffy brush and kind of blend it in, I've had some luck with it, but I really want to give this one a go this week and not just go, mm, this one's going in the basket. I also am putting in Pretty Cool because I have not played with this, so I like to have something old and something new in there. So this one's gonna go in there. I'm also putting in this one. This was from my palette collection. I wanna see if I can get any use out of any of these. I'm already presuming probably not, but then I'll be able to let it go, you know what I mean? I'm going to put in the Beauty Rest by Colored Rain. I feel like I probably have these colors already. If I love this, I might end up depotting it and throwing it in my empty palette. So we're gonna do some looks with this. I'm also popping in the Suva Beauty Cupcakes and Monsters. I wanna know if this has done the same turn of events as the Neutral Necessities with the same, you know, the primer that's built in. I'll probably end up doing some neutrally kind of looks and try to pop in them out with these colors or lower lash line. I'm not saying that I'm gonna do a full rainbow eye, that's not the case, but I'll play with these and I'll insert footage or I'll do videos, get ready with me's, whatever. I also have the Naked Skin Shape Shifter that I have been, like when this came out, I wanted it so bad. And then it, 
it ends up in a drawer. So I want to do a full day of only this. I've gotten quite a bit of use, not quite a bit, a little bit of use out of these kind of shades, but I want to use the whole thing, see if it's worth keeping. Most of the time with these kind of palettes, I always end up gravitating toward the light cream shade for the under eyes because I like to reshape my face. After everything's done with creams, I like to shape with lighter powders and darker powders. So I'm gonna try to use more of that. And then we haven't played with this a whole heck of a lot on this channel, but Makeup Geek blushes. So I'm gonna try to keep all my blushes this week on my face with the Makeup Geek, this one right here, and see how we feel about them. So that's going in the makeup basket. Now, let's move on to the Target haul and a little bit of story time. So I just had a birthday and for my birthday, my mom gave me a Target gift card and I was super excited about it because I knew that they, Target had some things from different brands and I was really trying to focus on skincare stuff, but she was like, you know, you can get some really cute clothes at Target. So um, it, was, it was a pretty big gift card, it was $100. So I was like, dang, I'm gonna get a lot of stuff until you realize that you tend to gravitate toward expensive things. So I got this shirt for like a whopping $5. I was so excited. And then I got this little shirt for another $5. I like these kind of things. They're comfy, they're cozy. I wear a uniform to work. So as much as I love to embrace fashion, I don't have a whole lot of need for it. But I have to tell you this story and I, I will leave a timestamp down below, skipping out of the story if you don't wanna hear it but I've got my cart full of all the stuff I'm absolutely buying. So I wasn't keeping an active total of how much everything was. I kind of had an approximate and there were things that I was not leaving the store without. And then I had a little pile up here and it was like, well, if I go slightly over, but I was thinking like $20, not like another $60. But I'm in the line and the guy ahead of me, he's got this little birthday card, no big deal. And the lady in the line, mind you, it is Sunday afternoon, three o'clock. Okay, it's not Monday, it's not Tuesday, it's Sunday afternoon. And a lot of normal people work during the day, nine to five. When do you go shopping? You go on Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so I'm in the line and the guy's got his card and this, the little checker looks up and goes, Oh my God, where are all these people coming from? Go home. It's raining. Go home. Why are they still all here? They should be at home. It's raining. Looking at her like, it's Sunday. And I've worked retail before. And when it's slow, you know what you do? You stand there and look at the clock. So at least when it's busy, you're like, boom, boom, boom. Oh, eight hours done. That's what I'm thinking in my head at least. And I looked at her and I go, it's Sunday. It's three o'clock and it's been raining for a month. You want people to stay in for the whole month until it stops raining? I'm like, just kind of makes sense that eventually people have to go out into the world. And believe me, I don't wanna go out into the world and deal with other humans like you. No, I don't wanna do that. But, you know, sometimes you gotta go out and get what you need. And she just kind of looked at me like surprised, but I was surprised that I'm in line and I'm one of the customers that bothered her by getting in her line. There were only two lines open. The third one didn't have the line on and everything else was self-check. Now let's think about technology now, okay? If eventually the whole store is run by self-check, what job are you gonna do, girlfriend? Tell me what you think down below because I was a little bit in awe. On to what I got. <laughs> and then I told her, oh, and honey, you're going to love me because I'm not buying all this shit. I'm just buying what we'll, my gift card will cover. Won't this be fun? <laughs> she didn't crack a smile. So I showed you, I got the two shirts, right? Then somebody in my comments down below, if I can find who you are, I'll leave you up here, um, said that I needed to try Pixie. And they had so much Pixie stuff and Pensmith Skincare had just mentioned a Pixie Bomb Foundation. Um, so Pixie was on my highlight, like my radar, but that foundation, they only had one. And sometimes when you look at a, a stand like that and it looks like it's been ransacked because Pixie did look like it was ransacked at my target. Sometimes it makes you go, Ooh, these products must be so good. 
sometimes it makes you think nobody wants this stuff and this is the leftover stuff and they won't even restock because no one wants it. You know, it can be kind of that in between. Um, and my target had a more of the feeling like they don't bother restocking. I, I wish I could explain why I feel that way, but, and they also didn't have Makeup Geek there. So if they did, I would have tried to go for some of that stuff. So the initial thing, I wanted skincare, but I was kind of iffy on some of the stuff and I, I didn't want to text Penny a thousand times sending her ingredients lists because I do that to her a lot and it's not very nice. But I did pick up two of their pencils. I think it was Angelica Nyquist that said that she liked these pencils and I think that they're fun. So this is what I mean by if it was so good, they would restock. It was colors like this that were left, not black, not, and I know sometimes those go, but they were literally the strange colors, which is kind of what I wanted, but I also wanted to try the black because I like the Urban Decay liners and the Urban Decay liners are pricey, but these still aren't cheap. So I'm looking at Essence, Georgia Harris, because you said that you wouldn't buy the other ones anymore. So Essence will be next. Next time I go to Ulta, I'm gonna try the Essence ones. But this one is called Matte Sienna. Oh, it's very creamy and I just ripped it on my finger. That's Matte Sienna. I wore it on my inner waterline last night. It does look like, you know, I might have smoked a little something something, but I like that once in a while. This one is called Sage Gold. And it's got that shimmery. So these are the kind of things that I don't like to buy online because I like self gratification, instant gratification from drugstore. I'm, I'm a little strange. And then I also got the Milky Hydrating Mist because I wanted more mists in between my skincare. I use a lot of these booster kind of serums. So I'll spray this and put on a serum and let it dry. So I got um, a backup of a kind of mist. This is more luxurious to me than say, um, what's that, Mario Badescu. Those ones are okay, but this one feels more, hmm, so. And I like the sprayer on it, but I've only had it like 24 hours, so. Very nice so far. Definitely let you guys know later on. And then I also got the glow lights. I think Angelica Nyquist did a video a long time ago where she ordered a couple of these. I wore this on my lids last night with the Trist palette. And the thing about this is they're not super opaque. So, and they're $15. So it's not like these are, oh, here's a cheaper Stila dupe. But I feel like there's something about this formula that's kind of special. Because what I did was I used, uh, I put it on, I used a brush to blend it out. I put some more on, let it kind of get tacky and put a brush again. And these are very glittery. And sometimes those Stila kind of dupes are more metallic. So it depends on what you're looking for. Cause I know NYX now has one. Well, I wanted something for glitter. I wanted glitter so I didn't have to do the whole glitter glue thing. And I really think these are pretty. I just thought I'd grab something that I didn't already have. So I got the green one. I will repurchase maybe another color or two, but you can definitely build it up more in my experience. And I like this. You know, I like the glittery ones. Even the Stila ones, you can kind of do the same kind of thing with. So that's the pixie stuff. My whole main goal was to get purple shampoo and conditioner because I'm brassy and I need to make sure I control this hair. That's what happens when you go from box black to blonde. I, I washed my hair last night. It was a wonderful experience. I also got the Batista, B Batiste dry shampoo, tropical. It says coconut and exotic. Let's just, let's just do it. Mm, it smells like alcohol. I don't know. But now with the short hair, I've got to do more dry shampoo. Cause I'd be a messy, nasty, nasty girl. And I would not wash my hair and not use dry shampoo and be just fine. Now, if I wait too long, my head will stink. I know it's so gross. So not cute. I also got some regular, just whatever shampoo while I wait because I'm gonna go back to Sephora and get the Olaplex one, two, and three, or it was two, three, and five, whatever. The shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff is very good. But in the meantime, I just wanted some shampoo for the in-between so I could do one day with the purple shampoo a week and then one day with regular shampoo. So until I can get down to the other, I'll use this up and, and we'll get there. And then I got two of the Nug face masks 
These have peppermint seed oil. I love these and they do a subscription box and I should do it because these little masks are so good. They're not the sheet ones. It's like a regular cream mask, but they're single serving, but I actually get two to three out of this. I just put it in a Ziploc bag and it's all pepperminty and fresh and come here, stinky. Do you want to be in my video? No. No? Okay, then go away. Mad. And then I needed a refill of the e.l.f. antioxidant booster drops. I used this one in the morning. I went through a whole one of these already. And I also got the e.l.f. hydrating one. I was looking at more of the physician's formula, but Gothamista said that these were pretty good. So I went through this one. Now I'm gonna, this is my replacement. And now I've got this one for hydration and you know the next time I go buy some skincare I'll send the ingredients to Penny ahead of time before I'm sitting at the store waiting because that's not very nice sorry Penny to give you so much pressure so that was my Target haul the weekly makeup basket review from last time this time timestamp you know I said all that we're at the end of the video what do you care about timestamps you don't care so sneak peek for the rest of the week what are we going to talk about it's a haul and I will swatch everything so in here you've got good sport I bought this because Teresa is dead said it was the most amazing palette since sliced bread I tried it once it is um this one because of Angelica thank you so much Got two jelly muches, gorgeous. Got it's my pleasure. Anyway, I'm not gonna, and just, just so you look forward in the future. We're gonna swatch all this in a video. See that right there? That's pigments. I know, but it was cool because when you bought that set, they gave you the spray. Where's the spray at? I didn't use the spray yet. They gave you a spray and the brush to use it. I was like, that's exciting. By the way, ColourPop has a 20% off sale. If I would've waited, I would've got all this stuff 20% off. Thanks, ColourPop. So that's what to look forward to this week. We're gonna do ColourPop. We're gonna show all that stuff. Definitely wanna play with some of that stuff, so that might tinkle into some other videos this week. We're gonna dive into the nude palette um, by Huda, and I'll definitely be using the makeup basket for sure for work. Take pictures, maybe some get ready with me's. We'll probably do some tag videos this week, who knows? It's a whole week and, and I got a little bit of time before full time starts and, and I'll be back on the graveyard. So we're gonna live it up. We're gonna film as much as possible and get excited about it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. No, I didn't smoke any crack. I just, I miss talking to you guys. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Why do I do that? Bye. Don't forget you can subscribe down here and for more videos, click over here possibly there. There's places to click. Click them. Click them all.